dream beyond the sky to leave to die with love in our minds but I learned to love so pure and I know I can run free With you I'm stronger Than the mountains Standing tall Above us all Good evening everyone um, I would also like to um, Congratulate all of the other inductees That uh, um, made their way to this uh, World Massage Hall of Fame. I'm absolutely humbled, I must say. Um, feeling, the feeling that I feel today is I have a new sparkle in my life, reigniting more the passion and love for my purpose in life. And I'm so grateful to Gary Whiting for being such a fabulous mentor and teacher over the years since 2005. I'll tell you a little bit about how we all got started here. and. It goes back in history to when I was a very young girl, a time in my life when I had learned to come who the horse was and how kind and gentle and respectful they were for me, even though I was almost still a toddler. It did not matter how big or, um, you know, uh, scary they may have looked to me at the time, but what I did learn is they had a lot of kindness and compassion and they could almost read me like a book. There was never a fear moment in my heart. Moving forward in time, at the age of 27, I still had this passion to drive for horses, never having owned one, spent any real time with them um, from being a child. I took a jump of faith, and I went down to Hastings Racetrack in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, and I realized that the horse I was going to get was going to be a racehorse that needed a home in his retirement years. I found him. His name was Five Sales. He was big. Um, I discovered after he actually passed, he was a, a sixth generation man of war and a fifth generation war admiral full. Now I knew at this time why he had such a tendency to be somewhat of a jerk sometimes, where he'd have to back around the parking lot because he didn't want to go forward. Just, just the things that these horses have their own characteristics, just like people, but you learn to work with them. And that's what we did. Around um, the year near 2000, I discovered he had issues with his health. His feet could never hold a shoe. I decided it was the time that I needed to learn how to do natural hoof care, which helped to balance him. But it wasn't enough. So my studies led into a real interest into holistic healing because I could see the benefit of how just working with homeopathic medicine worked so beautifully, but there were still other issues. On my research to decide which school I would go to for massage because I knew I had the power in my hands to heal, I came across Gary. We had extensive conversations and within, I believe it was one month, I was down in California and uh, taking my course with Gary, which forever changed my life. A number of years later, well it would be two years later, 2007, I had a feeling in my heart uh, wanting to be a, a voice for the horse, knowing of who they were based on my child experience, that I would recreate, uh, create something to that effect. Originally, it was just a link on a website, a voice for the horse, on my therapy website. But then the idea became so grand, I thought, why not just do a voice for the horse? That way we could engage the world with their thoughts and opinions and experiences of the beauty and grace that these horses um, bring into our lives. And that's how we all came to life. And. Uh, Based with the massage work that I've learned with Gary, I was able to successfully um, teach a lot of people, work with a lot of people and their horses to best serve them that they could perform at their highest level of performance. So it is just such an honor tonight to be inducted into the Hall of, Massage World Hall of Fame. I'm so enamored to be working with Dr. Kanenko now with the Boys of the Horse USA, with Gary Whiting, uh, Judy Calvert, I might mention her name, that we have some commonalities here. And it, it is just such a real honor. So, thank you all very much. And uh, I just want to send this one off to my mom. I love you. <laughs> this one's for you. Thank you very much. When my heart 
is weighed with stone And it seems like I'm all on my own A gentle push to send me free How I couldn't believe you saw the good in me And you take me Tales of history, though I couldn't see, you never abandoned me. A friend in you, I'm at your feet. In this moment of truth, I feel my own heart.